now it's getting a lot better. I just need to dial in that foot placement. But again, that like athletic feel of just like loose arm, let your wrist be poppy is really been beneficial for me to just feel comfortable throwing these shots. <laughs> Crack. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. In the last video with Broderick, also announcing Simon for Vlogmas, also I'm gonna spoil it, we have Yuli for Vlogmas as well. I'm flying out on the 1st of November to do Vlogmas with Yuli and Simon. So keep an eye out for that. They're not clickbait. I didn't clickbait you guys. I know some of you guys were upset in the comments, but that's not the truth. Today, I'm gonna to talk about how I became literally a great sidearm player. Overnight, I was getting the back of my legs tattooed so I couldn't play for like a week. And Broad and I were literally in the, in the freaking kitchen just sidearm slinging. And I felt like I kind of figured something out. And I think I did. So what I think we thought I might have been doing wrong or maybe not wrong, but not the best of my ability is I was like really stiff. Like Broad's like you're really like not being like athletic and like poppy. So I've really focused on like kind of trying to like have a little more like flow and pop in my sidearm. And it also doesn't hurt. Before I think I was like, I told Broad this, I think I was like trying to protect my like elbow and my shoulder so much that I was like, oh, like this works. So I was able to like throw like a choppy little forehand, but I wasn't actually able to get any like pop and zing on it. So the last couple of days, I've been throwing some sidearms and been actually working out really well for me. Yesterday, if you watch the video, I aced the longest hole in the whole course. So make sure to go back and check out that video with my sidearm. But it's just feeling much more comfortable. And that's after literally like, two days of practicing it. So if you guys are having a problem with sidearm, one, you could probably go watch Broad's tutorial video, like how to throw a sidearm. But two, like just from a player, is like just feel like loose, like feel athletic, feel like you're like using your wrist and popping the disc. So gonna walk you guys through it today, throw a couple shots for you guys, and just try to demonstrate what I'm talking about. And hopefully you can also improve your sidearm. All right, so a little, little finger popper here. Just try to stay, I'm just, my thought before I throw is just trying to, stay loose and of course you guys i'm just kidding i don't think i'm the best side armor in the world glitch thrower maybe side armor definitely not but i am learning and hopefully i can take you guys on this learning journey with me so you can get better as well i would take that 100 out of 100 tries you probably make that put 100 out of 100 tries too. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's all I need. I just need it to. Nine out of ten times. I just need it to go 300 feet and be like in play, and not like 300 feet like. <clears throat> like just need it to like, be able to get birdie. <laughs> I haven't thrown this whole sidearm yet, but I feel like if I just pop a nice smooth one out there, that I can get there. But there's only one way to find out. Freaking genius. This hole's only 320 feet though, so don't get your hopes too high. <laughs> All right, again, so I just want to make it clear that I just have felt that on tour at times, I've lost strokes, even in the good rounds I've played, simply due to the fact that I've had easy holes like this for a sidearm person get away from me. Um, so now I just feel like this tool or this shot I'm learning, again, this is 320 feet uphill um, nothing crazy, but just trying to be able to consistently put it to 15 feet is going to really help me on tour. So this off season, it's worth me trying to work on this to where I can just get easy tap in birdies. Yeah, can't win them all. Uh, still, I'm still a back end guy, but also if you go to my website, gibsondiscoff.com, there's a lot of good deals going on right now and the promo codes are actually on the website. So gibsondiscoff.com, if you just go to the homepage, it'll tell you if you want discs, the promo code to use for like 30% off, uh, merchandise I think is 30% off, and then our subscription box, if you're there in time, might actually be 50% off. So make sure to go use those promo codes at gibsondiscoff.com. Gonna try to throw a little Watt Ace here, right in the chains.
Well, I didn't ching it, but it's a good throw. I cannot believe you didn't like that disc. <laughs> you, maybe your form's just I trash. To think I was just trash. <laughs> That thing flies so good. It was awesome. <laughs> Cracked. Freaking Hugh Fribson over here. What the heck? Gosh. Sidearm here was pretty damn good. I, would, I mean, again, that's all about like what I'm willing to risk. On this hole, I throw backhand 100 times out of 100, but for this to be my sidearm flex, even if I have to throw a distance driver to 330 feet, I'm more, it's still a great tool, especially if it's windy and throwing putter turnover or putter straight is not ideal. Because here's my two backhand shots, and not that I don't think I'd make this putt, but obviously being closer and being more wind resistant, well, I won't make the putt, I guess. But being closer and being more wind resistant is a good tool to have, especially when you get to courses on tour like DDO and stuff like that, where I'm gonna have a bunch of pretty straight uh, shots that, but it's gonna be 21 hour wind. So being able to flex a little sidearm in there is gonna be a huge tool to learn. And thanks to Broad for helping me zing it. Nerdy boy. All right, 291, finish line disc interval. This is actually a really good disc for me sidearm because it's stable enough to where if I pull it over a little bit, it still has some fight, but also I don't have to like force it to go far, so. See if I can throw another little, drop another dime here. Oh no. But that's the throw I was talking about where it just like comes out at the basket instead of left for some reason. So I need to like remember to aim left, not aim at the basket. It's like backhand, I'm so used to aiming at the basket <laughs> that it's like hard for me to like remember to do that with my sidearm. So something to work on, definitely not perfect yet. I think a big miss, because I, I do that every once in a while as well, but I kind of think when I do it or like watch it back, it's simply because, like you said, you basically just need to aim left, but it's big on like where your front foot plants. So if your front foot plants right in line with the basket, well, that's probably where the forehand's gonna go. So like a guy's a simple, simple tip is literally just, okay, so you probably wanna hyzer it over the bush right here. Literally just make sure your front foot goes to that bush and it's like, Freaking, freaking, they call that the money shot. <laughs> All right, well, let's try that. This disc is just not really like my best sidearm disc, but I'm gonna try to put my foot here, kind of aiming more left and try to just smooth it. Yeah, just that needs to be like my thought is like, let, like my torso pointing at the basket, not like my foot almost. So if you're having a sidearm issue, as bad as I was having where I couldn't throw it no matter what, now it's getting a lot better. I just need to dial in that foot placement. But again, that like athletic feel of just like loose arm, let your wrist be poppy is really been beneficial for me to just feel comfortable throwing these shots. And like I said, even if I only use this four times a tournament, but it saves me four strokes, I've lost plenty of big tournaments by four strokes. So hoping I'm able to dial this in for the beginning of the year, which is three or four months away. So hopefully I can keep working on it. All right, Glow Supra into a little bit of a headwind. Let's see what we can do with her here. I aced it. <laughs> Make sure to infinitist.com to shop for your all your finish line discs, a bunch of good Black Friday sales going on right now through the end of the week. Thank you to Infinite Discs, Finish Line Discs, Squatch Bag, EV7 Putters. We'll see you in the next one.